Hi, it's Daryl here answering any questions you've got on the carbon neutrality, net zero, various compliances, ESOS, SECR, SBTI, etc. And uh, as you know, I love talking to you guys and I love helping with questions uh, regarding kind of these topics. And we've got a couple of questions coming in on the website and the website question today is... So it's a really popular question we've been getting quite a lot on our website. Yeah. What is ESOS phase three? All right, it's as easy as that. Yeah. Okay, all right, simplicity itself. What is ESOS phase three? ESOS phase three stands for, or ESOS stands for Energy Saving Opportunities Scheme. Um, it's every four years and this is the third one, hence ESOS phase three. Um, the actual requirement or to do it is that you must be a large company and by large I mean that generally the thing that catches most people is 250 staff or more and you must do it by law um, or if you're in any part of a group in which any other part of the group qualifies. So we often get the situation where you've got a corporate structure and it might have sort of like a parent company subsidiary companies. One of the subsidiaries is in ESOS because it qualifies over 250 staff or uh, I think it's 47 million and 43 million turnover balance sheet. But 250 staff is the big thing that catches most people. So you might have a just subsidiary over here that is in ESOS. And whilst you are small over here, you must still do it because you're part of the same corporate group. Okay, that's very important. If you don't do it, you probably will get a letter from the Environment Agency, a warning that you must do it, and you'll be looking at a fine if you didn't comply. Uh, fines uh, start at um, 5,000 and go up from there. Okay, so now that's pounds. So ESOS is every four years. We're on the third phase. The qualification criteria must be a large company um, uh, uh, to qualify. You must have been a large company for two years in a row. So if you recently become large, if you are under the thresholds, now you're over the thresholds, then no, you do not need to do it this, this time round. Um, if you have been large for two reporting periods, financial reporting periods in a row, then yes, you're in. Um, when you're in, you've got to do a couple of things. You've got to do a full and thorough energy audit of your estate. That means by law, someone has to go and actually do an energy audit, go around your site, figuring out what you've got. Have you got photocopiers, heating equipment, computers, machinery, et cetera, et cetera. And they must come up with ways that they can be improved. They need to be written down, they need to be quantified. Said so if you spent X replacing your aircon, it was Y percent more efficient and it costs Z additional money to both replace the equipment and additional servicing costs. Do all the maths, this is what you could expect to save over the years. That must all be written down. You've got to have it signed off by an ESOS lead assessor. And then you've got to file it with the Environment Agency by the 5th of December, 2023. Now, there's a lot in there, isn't there? How do I do? You yeah, get that? Yeah, I'm just wondering what happens after phase four. Well, after well, phase three comes first, 2023, then you've got phase four in 2027. The government like this, so they're doing more ESOS. You know, they're not phasing it out. They're, they're putting more and more stuff into it because you have to involve the senior directors in the process and they quite like that, so they okay. do more. And beyond phase four, oh, I don't know, you know, beyond my pay grade. <laughs> there, there you go, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So look, there you go, that's the answer to the question. If you've got any other questions, ping them through, either by email, put them on the chat, drop a message or comment to the videos below. I'll do my best to, to answer them if I can. All right, hope that was helpful. See you next time.